Hello, hello. So it is Sunday, July 9th, and I'm here with a weekly wrap-up. I read a lot of really thick books this past week because I didn't have internet until the 7th because we moved, as you can see, and empty bookshelves, and um, we have more in our other town. It's a mess. Uh, but I read uh, five, five, five books and then one on my Kindle. Um, so the first one I finished is Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi. This was real big when it came out in 2018. Uh, it is an African-inspired fantasy. Um, lots of oppression. There's lots of oppression happening all the time. Uh, powers. Uh, it was good. It was really good. I enjoyed the characters. I think I liked the prince the most just because I think he had the farthest to go. I did like, oh, what was his name? He was like, he wasn't the main character. He was a, oh, what was his name? Let me find him. He was like that that pirate guy or whatever. Rowan. 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 I don't know. When I when I don't know how to pronounce something, I kinda of default to kind of a Frenchy one. Uh, I'll put it I'll put it on the on the screen. I liked him. I liked the writing was good. Um I think it's a really decent young adult fantasy. I think I ended up giving it how much did I get it? I get it a four point seven five. Four point seven five out of five stars. It was a good time. Uh then I read Absolute Friends by John McCarry. This is my first John McCarry book. Uh this is about this young man no he's not young anymore it's about this it's, it's, it's weird though because he's not young in the main part of the story but there's so much flashbacks um that like i would say 200 pages of the book is just straight flashback um and the book doesn't tell you that it's gonna do that it just starts and you're like oh he's eight now um it's about this man who uh grew up um and he i believe he grew up in india and they have to go into germany and he runs into like these um like rebellious people talk about the Berlin Wall a lot uh and there's this one guy uh, his name's Sydney Sasha I knew it was like a gender neutral one this one guy Sasha who has dwarfism and he's like the big the main like guy that th this our main character falls in with um and we learn all about that we learn about his his life now and then he sees Sasha and then we get 200 pages worth of backstory um showing us how he got to where he is now and then we go back and I just I thought the writing was really good. It was really pretty, really beautiful writing. Um, I, I thought that the situation was interesting. I haven't really read very many books that are set in Berlin at the time of the Berlin Wall. Um, overall, there was like a weird kind of disconnect going on. I think I gave it 3.75 out of 5 stars. I have one other John Macari book in the book wall. It's actually on my TBR card now. Um, I'm not like not looking forward to it, but I don't know how much how many more of his books I'm going to pick up after I know that, you know. Uh, then I reread a childhood favorite, and that is Midnight for Charlie Bone uh, by Jenny Nimmo. This was one of those books that I read as a, an eight-year-old waiting for the next Harry Potter book to come out. Uh, this basically follows this kid, Charlie, and he has, he's from this family. His dad is dead, he lives with his mom, his maternal grandmother, and then his paternal grandmother and like great uncle. Um, and his paternal grandmother, his father was from this really just nasty group of people. Um, and it turns out that they have endowments, which means they have kind of like superpowers. And so they've been keeping an eye on Charlie in case he does show one, show that he has one. And he does, he does. He can hear people in photographs. They sent him to this special school where there are other kids, some other kids with endowments, some other kids who are just like artistically talented. Um, and we end up kind of following that and f trying to figure out like what's like, whether his dad is actually dead and also dealing with, there is um, a missing girl, a missing baby. I mean, it's, it's I mean, it's a, it's a childhood favorite. I really enjoyed it as a kid. I enjoyed rereading it too. I mean, it's, it's a fun time. I think I gave four, four out of five, four out of five stars. Yeah, I, I'd love to reread the rest of the series. Gabriel Silk is my favorite character and I'm so glad that I learned that he has a spinoff novel. I think I own it now. It's great. Uh, next, uh, I read a book that I got in an eBay lot years ago. Uh, I really don't care about this music artist, but it just, it just showed up. Uh, that is a visual journey for Ed Sheeran. I don't care about this man. Um, there was some nice art in here. Um, let me see. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty. I gave it two out of five stars. I read it though, so I'm counting it. Uh, then I read a 500 page nonfiction book about parental alienation in Canada specifically. Um, you could tell it was in Canada because every one of these people's kids played hockey, and every single one of these people who would not be able to see their kids would always say, like, I used to pick them up from hockey and now I don't anymore every time um that's parent technique by uh christine Giancarlo. i wanted this from goodreads a while ago a long time ago 
um, so long ago that I don't even didn't even write down like my like when I received it, which I have done for a couple of years now. Um, it's I mean it it was really a lot of the same thing over and over again. Um, I understand that it is like a study. Uh, I it, it wasn't bad. I mean. I think I think we we knew that the, the court system favored mothers even when it probably shouldn't. Uh, it was interesting to learn a little, a little bit more about like Canadian family court law because I guess I don't know much about that seeing as I'm not Canadian. I gave it three out of five stars. It was okay. Um, and then the one I read on my Kindle was actually this like little short story uh, by Macy McDonald. Let's put it up here. It's Taking Admiral and the Merchant. It is a uh, there was the stuff your Kindle thing and people and I just I just download a bunch of random stuff and it was a short story. It was decently well written. It had kind of a gimmick. It wasn't just the the only like a lot of the short stories that I can't really get into are the ones where they're like too British, like too like present day British, like all well, their stupid slang. So this was okay. It had it it, it it did have you know it was historical. Had the boat thing. It was I don't remember what I read. Only three three stars. I don't know. I did read it though. Um, currently, I am reading Six of Crows. It's very good. I don't think anybody's surprised about that, but it's very good. I haven't finished the Shadow and Bone trilogy. I read the first two books, and that was so long ago, I don't even know, but I did watch the entire show. Um, so there's that. Uh, but yeah, that's where we're at right now. Uh, these are the books plus the one Kindle one that I read this past week. That's all we did. I will talk to you later and goodbye.